Well, these black jails are essentially extra-legal secret detention centers that allow officials to throw anyone in there that they want without charge and without arrest. And it's precisely what the new criminal procedure law is going to try to prevent. But as we found out, what's written in the law books is very different than what happens on the ground. Liu Zhiyang says her daughter was kidnapped by state agents and taken here, an ad hoc holding facility. This is one way to control ordinary citizens in possession of evidence of government corruption. Liu's daughter had managed to gain access to a phone the night before to tell her mother where she was. Why was it like that? This is a black jail, what in Chinese is called Hei Jian Yu. It's a place for police to capture people without arrest, without charge, and basically disappear them. In the gloomy halls, Mrs. Liu realizes it's too late. The prisoners had been moved. Black jails are illegal detention centers that allow authorities to bypass the law. In front of cameras, the unidentified men are afraid to take too much action. I ask one of them where they've taken Mrs. Liu's daughter. He tells me she is safe, but he couldn't explain why the detained woman's own family had not been told of her whereabouts. So as you can see, the situation is that there are black jails despite the new criminal procedure law that's going to be passed at this year's National People's Congress preventing exactly this type of thing from happening. Family members not informed of the disappearances of their loved ones by police. They demand the end to secret detentions. They know this is illegal. This man says the police are liars, you are bullies, and they unfurl messages of corruption, beatings, unsavory government activities. Finally, uniformed police show up. They film us filming them. Mrs. Liu begs them to help find her daughter. Shortly after, officers asked that we stop our camera. This is what the new criminal code is supposed to prevent, but the showpiece legislation will only matter if it is actually enforced. According to the new law, family members of those arrested or held should be informed within 24 hours. But tell that to Mrs. Liu and her friends. The police have arrived, but they showed no indication they shut down this black jail or others in the city despite what the law says. Well, with such a dismal picture, some people may wonder, what's the point of this new legislation if the Chinese authorities are not going to enforce it? We've spoken to some civil rights attorneys here in China, and they would say that while they're cynical, it is also a positive step that they have something in their arsenal to fight the system with. They now have this law that they can throw at officials, and even if in one case out of a hundred, they manage to free somebody as a result, well, then that's a baby step victory.